All right, so welcome again to Military Guna TV. I am your host, Maria Dakers. So, I have a few players that I want to speak about. Just a few players, but also I want to give a massive shout out to two of my very, very, how could I put it now? Loyal subscribers and also members, two members of the channel. They, they These guys became members of the channel almost a month now since these guys have become members of the channel. And that is the original <clears throat> killer and also <laughs> Devon Hughes. Now, definitely the original Zilla, sorry, the original Zilla and, and Devon Hughes. Thank you very much, guys, both of you. Really, really appreciate the support. Guys, if you want to become a member, the link is in the description. I have a few more things to come out. I know a lot of you, especially in the Jamaican zone, cannot become members. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put out a Discord, um, a Patreon, a Patreon link, so you guys can join the Patreon link. I'm setting up something for us. I have at least put up, I put something in the community tab already for only members that they could they could actually saw what happened. So they get a lot of the news first. <laughs> they get a lot of the news first. Now let's move away from that. I have a few players that I want to speak about. People, a few players. Um, Darren Mattox, Blair Turgot, and I will go through go through all of them. But the most important one is Kemar Taxa Lawrence. And why would I want to talk about Kemar Taxa Lawrence? No. Three games back to back, where I have seen, witnessed, and watched Kemar Tax Lawrence played as a, as a center back, as a left sided center back in a back four, and also a back three. And that is really, really impressive. And I was impressed in all those performances. But in, at this point in time, guys, what I want you to do, I want you to smash that like button and also hit the subscribe button. Whilst you're hitting the subscribe button, if you see a bell come up, just hit that bell. That is a notification bell. To give you guys any time it, it will pop up give you guys the notification whenever one of my video is launched no let's get straight into it won't waste your time won't waste your time people and so as you guys know all of these things all of these things i have reported these things on my twitter that is the reason why i said you guys should definitely go across and follow my twitter where you'll get the news first you will get the news first no as you guys know i do significant amount of updates by by the minute now Kemar Roof coming off the bench to help the Rangers in their comeback as you guys know you are you guys already know about that big big comeback from the Rangers to win that game um take the three points from Hibernian today and um, we all know that um Mikel Antonio as well um leads the line for West Ham um <laughs> definitely uh uh Ethan Pinnock was victorious in that one as you can see, I put up Ethan Pinnock here. Now, last night, Mattox. Mattox won the game for Phoenix. Um, rising, scoring a goal. And you know Mattox is in great goal-scoring form right now. Really, really good goal-scoring goal form. Um, pivotal to what um, Phoenix Rising is doing. And is very, very crucial to what they are doing. As I said, um, important player. So Mattox, fine, fine goal-scoring form at this moment. You cannot look past that. Blair Turgot also got a goal um, yesterday as well. No, guys, this is something that I want you guys to have a look at. Definitely something that I want you guys to have a look at. Now, um, <laughs> let, let, before I, I read this one, um, Philadelphia Union played since night, right? And what happened is that Albus Paul started. I made a video. I, I put out this tweet. Definitely Albus Paul start tonight. Wasn't a good game for Alvas Paul. He also gave away a penalty. Luckily, for the brilliance of Andre Blake, he saved the penalty. But read this, guys. Alvas Paul is yet to make the starting lineup for um, Philadelphia Union since the last international break. Now, he made out of 12 appearances for since he has joined Philadelphia Union. Um, he made four, he made he made four out of 12 games that Philadelphia Union has played. He made four appearances and has three starts. 58 passing percent percentage, zero clean sheets, zero goal scored, zero assists, one penalty conceded, 15 um 15 average possession loss per game. He averages 15 possession loss per game. Now, what happened is this now is now five appearances out of 12 with four starts. Passing stats would re, um, relatively go to 55 because he had a lower passing stats tonight again. Um, Zero clean sheets as, um, as well. No, you'll be one clean sheet now. One clean sheet now. Thanks to um, the, the great Andre Blake. Um, zero goal scored. 
zero assists, um, two penalty conceded, and no, I think it's no six seventeen. He averages seventeen possession loss per game, which is quite poor. People, it's really really poor. These are some very damning stats. Um, let's let's move away from that. So. No, Lamar Walker also scored last night as well. Um, he's in great goal scoring form at this moment. People are quite sure a lot of you have seen what he's doing right right now. He's in really, really good goal scoring form. Um, let's move past that. Shamar Nicholson also a goal and assist. Very good. Blair Turgot also on the score sheet as well. And both oh yeah, I, I tweeted about that already. Um no, I think that's it. Oh guys, I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't remember to report this. So Amar Bell is fully fit, is not injured, and he starts for Luton Town on Friday. No, on yesterday, he starts for Luton Town. He played for Luton Town yesterday. I have no clue why he didn't. I have no clue why he didn't make the squad. But Amar Bell is fully, fully fit. People, now guys, I'm going to move away from that. I move to something that I want to speak to you guys about. All right, so. I'm quite sure most of you guys have already got, gotten the update in regards to, um, let me see if I can find it, in regards to Jaden White. So Dylan Barnes is out. No, Dennis Taylor is out, my bad. Dennis Taylor is out of, of, of the Reggae Boys camp. I'm not sure what the situation is. And he's now replaced by Jaden White. And you guys know Jaden White, um, Reggae Boy, goal, um, young goalkeeper from Cavaliers, just won the, um, the, 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 the JPL, Jamaica Premier League, He's doing great, doing great, great stuff. 21 years old, people. He's very, very young, talented young man. Um, he now gets his opportunity. And we're going to see what he's going to do with his opportunity that he got, which is very, very good. And let's see how well he, he, he takes this one. <laughs> let's see how well he, he, he takes this one. I was just reading a comment down, down, down here. Let's, let's see, guys. So replace Tapa with Craig Butler. He's in a better condition to coach. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> well, but definitely, people. So, I'm going to close off that one. So, I'm going to go over now to discuss Kemar Taxi Lawrence. People, no, as I said to you guys earlier, I've seen Kemar Taxi Lawrence played some game now, back to back game as a center back. As a center back, people, something that I never expected. I'm not saying that he, he, I didn't know that he can play that position because he's defensively, he's defen defensively sound. But what, what, what I saw was a very, good, very very good player, as you can see. In the back four, they played a 4-5-1 system. Um, Kemar Tax Lawrence played, played at the left, um, left half. No, he had a good game. He had a really, really good game. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys his stats. Let me show you guys his stats. All the, how these stats racked, racked up for Kemar Tax Lawrence. So, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's get back that up. All right, so total of 90 minutes played. As you can see, it still drifts. It still drifts towards the, the left side. It still drifts towards the left side. As you can see, total 90 minutes played. Um, seven clearances, one interception, two tackles. He encountered in a total of seven ground duels, um, seven duels overall, and won five of them. Um, three ground duels out of four and two out of three. In last position, only eight times. Only eight times. Committed, committed one foul and all, was also fouled once. He had 58 touches and he attempted 44 passes, completed 36 out of, out of those. He finished the game with 82% passing percentile. He attempted seven long balls, completing four of those. People, he had a lovely performance and I was really, really impressed and now got me thinking, hmm, hmm, Kemar Tats Lawrence as a centre-back, hmm, <laughs> well uh, it looks solid it looks solid people uh, that's all i can say it looks really really solid guys remember smash the like button and also subscribe road to 8k road to 8000 subscriber really really want you guys to join us and if you can join also the membership definitely the link will be in the description you guys can hit that quite cheap nothing much two dollars three dollars nothing much um relatively easy no um what I want you guys to do, remember to go over to check out the socials. As I said, 
you get more way more updates on the social than on the youtube youtube platform so remember the instagram and the twitter as soon as the updates are out i am on it as you guys know so people um definitely great news for um um jaden white hopefully um dennis taylor is nothing serious and he'll be back fit and and quite soon and also kemar tax learns as a center back people quite surprising i was really really surprised um happy for him great game back to back also in a back three shows that he's versatile and can do a lot of things thank you guys for joining really really appreciate you guys remember smash the like button and also subscribe military guna tv have a really really good day people